Hi folks, I'm Kevin Smith, one of the pastors here at Hope Lutheran Church. Glad to be with you during this Christmas season in which we find ourselves in. Our church is beautifully decorated with lights and ornaments and trees. One of the features of our sanctuary is the Advent wreath. We put those wreaths up every year at all the campuses. Four candles with the center candle, the fifth candle being the Christ candle. Last week we talked about that first candle, which was the hope candle, the candle of hope. The hope that the prophets spoke in the Old Testament proclaiming the coming of the Messiah. If faith puts us on the road, we know that hope keeps us there. We need that power of hope. This week, we focus on the peace candle, the second candle. Mother Teresa put it so well when she said, peace begins with a smile. Peace that Christ sought to bring to us in the midst of our tragically broken world. Christ and his peace can still endure and make a difference. Corrie Ten Boom puts it so well when she said, let God's promises shine on your problems. And when the light of Christ shines on your problems, you will know that peace which the world can't give or ever take away. When Christ can shine on your problems, you will know that peace that only he can give. I think of uh, a story back from the Vietnam War days. Some of you remember the Hanoi Hilton. And I think of uh, the story of, of, of Jack Tomes. I've, I've said this before, but it's such a powerful story. He was a baritone singer, a, a voice, but he was also, during the Vietnam War, a fighter pilot. And as he was flying his last mission over the jungles of Vietnam, his plane was shot down. And he became a POW in the infamous Hanoi Hilton, a notorious prison for its mistreatment of American soldiers. John McCain talked about it so often during his life. Of course, as a pilot, he was now a trophy prisoner and the guards kept their eyes on him. Any violation of the rules was met with severe and swift punishment. On Christmas Eve, that first Christmas when he was in prison, Jack Thomas broke the rules. He, some kind, he somehow could not ignore the yearning deep inside him to let loose with a song of praise. Praise of the God he knew was there with him in prison, giving him the peace that he needed to survive and hold on until deliverance and freedom would come again. So everyone in prison was so startled to hear the voice of this baritone break the silence of Christmas Eve by singing Silent Night. Holy night, all is calm, all is bright. The guards at the, Noi, at the Hanoi Hilton prison were so astonished that they didn't get moving very quickly. And Jack Thomas finished the entire song by the time they got to his cell. When they got there, they began to beat him. And they beat him over and over again. He was afraid that he might even die during that whole experience. Well, it took months for him to get well. Months passed. Finally, it was time for Christmas again. The question going around then, Hanoi Hilton, will Jack sing again? Will Jack sing again? Someone asked him if he would, and Jack replied, well, he wasn't sure, because his body still remembers the cost that he paid for that last song that he sang. He wasn't sure he would survive another beating like that. But Christmas Eve came. And once again, Jack Thomas stood in his cell. And once again, he looked up and he saw the twinkling stars fill his view. And he felt the love and the peace of Jesus fill his heart in a fresh and compelling way. He threw his head back and once again, that baritone voice pierced the darkness. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Only that night, an amazing thing happened. There was 
a voice from another cell that began to sing. And then another voice joined in the singing and began to proclaim the joy of Christmas. And then another voice. And pretty soon, Jack Thomas was singing in a choir at the Hanoi Hilton. The guards didn't know which way to run because there were too many singers to punish this time. Finally, the guards just threw up their hands and began to ignore the singing. That night, that band on not singing was forgotten and not enforced at the Hanoi Hilton. Jack was so filled with that peace of Christ, it gave him the strength and the power to sing, even with threats from the guards at the prison. They could not prevent that peace of Christ dwelling in the Hanoi Hilton and beyond. Therefore, let his peace, let the peace of Christ Overwhelm whatever worries you may be facing right now, whatever doubts you may be experiencing, or whatever fears may seek to overwhelm you. Let his peace be born in you again this Christmas season. And when the peace of Christ, when the peace of Christ is at the center of your soul, you'll notice that the circumference will take care of itself. Merry Christmas in a few days. But until then, may you dwell richly and know the peace of Christ. And hear again the angel's words, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Luke chapter 2 verse 7. May the peace of Christ, may he rest upon your soul and give you that which the world cannot give or ever take away. The peace of and the hope that is ours in Jesus Christ, our Savior. And remember, most of all, God loves you, and there's not a darn thing you can do about it. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Amen.